Hey, 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 Aries, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Monday, December 14th to the 15th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. <clears throat> this is for uh, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live all right aries i'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment but first there's tara so we get the four of wands the judgments the King of Wands and the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of the Nine of Swords. Sorry. All right. So let's see what Spirit has for you, Aries. Okay. Aries, right now they're saying you can benefit from walking in nature. They said a walk in the park. Wasn't that a movie? The name of a movie? Breathing in fresh air is going to revitalize your spirit. Take the opportunity while walking to do a walking meditation. They're also saying seclude yourself. Like, and this is with going out into nature. When you go out and you're taking a walk, go by yourself. There's a connection with nature that they're really urging you to seek. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, Aries, you're all up in your head. Why? What's going on, Aries? Now, some of you could be worried about your foundation, right? A home. Some of you could be, <clears throat> I'm getting building a home in this four of wands. Or that that's a desire of yours. There's also some healing surrounding a home. Now it could be, I don't know if you've lost a home or if it's the people in the home that you need healing from. Huh. I feel like, Aries, you're seeing things clearer now. And this was purposeful. Like, I feel like you were in the, the hangman position for a while. Looking at things from a different perspective. And you had some aha moments. All right, so let's, and this is in, in all different areas of your life. I feel like you had aha moments when it comes to work, when it comes to love. Tell me about the four of wands, four of cups. Oops, the moon and the hierophant. Ooh, somebody is going to be offering you a commitment, Aries. But I don't know why 
Clarify the Four of Cups. This is hidden from you right now. You can't see this coming. Okay. Spirit's wanting you to look at this this opportunity that's coming at you for this for this commitment a little bit closer. Okay? Because I just heard it's true love. And I feel like Aries, your your attention is elsewhere when this comes along. And I feel like another area of your life is is not going the way that you had hoped for. So when this comes along, it's like you can't even be bothered. <clears throat> be careful of that. Because this is a solid offer. And it's true love. That's what Spirit just said. Now for some of you, this could be an offer in business, right? But if, if that's the case, it's true love in the sense that whatever it is you're being offered, you're going to love what you're doing for work. Tell me about the judgment. Tell me about judgment. We have the magician, Gemini energy, three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, you've been you've been working on yourself. You've been patiently waiting for your ships to come in. And I feel for a lot of you, this again goes back to the house. Purchasing a house, buying a house, building a house. Manifestation of your dreams in general. Because I feel like a lot of you Aries are very independent. And you're feeling good about your money. Tell me about the seven of wands. Tell me about the seven of wands. For Aries. There you are. The emperor. Yep, making sure you have the higher ground. Five of wands. There's going to be I'm gonna five of cups. Let me get one more. Seven of pentacles. Okay. You're going to have your options here. You're going to have people fighting over you. Okay. You're going to need to decide where you want to invest time and money and energy into. Or whom, okay? Something's keeping you back, though. And I feel that it's it's a past love experience. It's And I feel like from the Five of Cups, I'm feeling like you don't want to make the wrong decision. They just said, stay on track. Try not to. And I feel like the Five of Cups is sort of bearing you off your path here. So stay focused because the emperor, you are the emperor, Aries. You don't look back. So for you to look back, there's something a little bit off here. Okay? But you do have true love here. And I also feel this is a spiritual connection. But you've got to give it a chance here. Yep, see? As I look at the hair font, the lovers come, comes out. But you're going to have to choose it. You're going to have to choose it. Yep, the sun, Leo energy, happiness, past life soulmate. Look at this, king of cups. This is love and passion, ace of wands. You have a chance at happiness here in love. I feel like you're fine as far as uh, pentacles goes. Um, some of you, like I said, could even be getting an offer. Ooh, I just heard to go overseas. For some of you, you may be getting an overseas offer. Um, that could be in love or and in business. Okay, so advice. Advice. Six of Wands. Leo energy. Know that <clears throat> there is victory after all is said and done here. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Okay, but be confident 
okay in your decisions here and keep pushing forward don't look back because you've already I'm, I'm hearing with the six of wands you've already been through the worst through the worst of it so in, enjoy the victory and the more victories that are coming to you now let's get advice caregiver we are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others especially at the end of their lives <clears throat> just as you received care and love at the start of your life caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process so concentrate on your well-being okay and I feel like, yeah, try not. To, I feel like that could be one of the things that pulls you back. Okay. And again, at the bottom of the deck, self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Yep. Trust yourself, Aries. Okay, believe in yourself. Keep that confidence up. That's who you are anyway. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Aries, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.